I'm Emily Smith and I am the Creative Wiltshire Exhibition Assistant at Salisbury Museum. So for the last six months um, I've been working in Salisbury Museum, um, curating and um, organising an exhibition for Creative Wiltshire, um, celebrating their five-year project and bringing together lots of different artworks from all over Wiltshire to uh, create what I think is hopefully a really nice exhibition. So we got involved in the Creative Wiltshire project right at the beginning because talking to our colleagues in Wiltshire Council we just thought this was an, an amazing opportunity for Swindon and also for some of the artists with a connection to Swindon and Wiltshire who we really wanted to see in our collection. When there were um, works that were of a higher value we decided that we would attempt to get additional funding from other sources and this is the first time we'd actually done this as a museum. So we approached uh, both the Art Fund and the V&A um, Ace Purchase Grant for some painting uh, to buy two of our works, one of which is uh, the one behind me, which is uh, Caution Evening by Henry Cliff. And so both of the works we acquired are now on uh, through um, those joint collaborations between Creative Wiltshire and uh, the v &A Purchase Grant have gone on permanent display in the um, museum so that for everyone to see whenever they come in. Um, and that was really important for us. We wanted to sort of share what we'd uh, collected rather than just hide them behind the scenes. I think on a personal level, as somebody who loves art, the opportunity to visit so many artist studios was fascinating. To talk to artists about how they work, why they create the works that they do was really rewarding and means that now when I'm thinking about putting exhibitions together I'm much more focused on that role of the artist in the process about how we bring their stories to life and share them with people. I think it's also just made us much more confident as an organisation in reaching out, working in slightly different ways, contacting artists just to see if there might be a way of working together. So I think the fact that it was such a positive project and a project which lasted for a good number of years, it really gave us the opportunity to develop those skills and put them into practice. A lot of projects might not actually help towards building a collection but will actually help to acquire something completely new that doesn't necessarily fit in with what the museum or the gallery already has. Um, but this project I think has been brilliant and um, because I've been able to look at a range of different institutions as well I can say quite widely that the project has actually been really good um, at filling holes in collections that needed to be filled really. So with Salisbury for example there's already a range of um, well, there's two Whistler glasses that links the Whistler family and through this project they've been able to acquire another one which makes a lovely trio which hopefully will be able to be on display for many years to come and lots of people will be able to see a wider range of um, artwork through it. I think for some of the artists it was such a moment of pride to see their works of art be acquired for a collection and now to see them travelling elsewhere in Wiltshire, I just think is wonderful. It shows what happens when museums work together. It shows what happens when all of us in Wiltshire celebrate our amazing creative heritage. I definitely think that it's really shown me how important it is to work with other institutions and to not be so insular, to kind of look outwards. And you, know, you don't always have to look to London and a lot of the other places that are seen as cultural hubs but actually there's a lot more cultural hubs locally that can be used um, and I think that's been a really positive um, learning curve for me. We made contact with Victoria Art Gallery in Bath and with the Bath Spa University through this who were similarly collecting the same area and um, and with actually the Wiltshire and Swindon History Centre, which is also based in Chippenham and with the leads on the project. So the four of us are actually now sort of working much more closely together and sharing our ideas about the Corsham School, because it's something that um, we were all sort of doing independently, but we're now working together and liaising. And, and as part of our upcoming Clifford Ellis exhibition, we're actually borrowing from all three of those institutions to a single exhibition here for the first time. So we're bringing together these existing um, collections elsewhere. It's also meant that, um, as with Swindon, uh, a recent exhibition, we borrowed works from them for the first time, which we've never done before. So it's uh, really opened our eyes to actually how we can um, collaborate and share this material. It's now in the county, and now because we've worked together on this project, we, through meetings and things, we all know each other. So we're actually, um, it has opened up the sort of the county basically and its collections. So 
in terms of um, audiences, um, I was lucky enough to actually be able to sit in the exhibition and um, do a little bit of observation and evaluation and talk to some people and um, it was really eye-opening um, to see what people liked, the range of different people that were coming into the museum and even though they didn't come in necessarily for the exhibition itself, it was definitely something that I think that they were really happy to engage in and actually found quite surprising, which I then hope they've then gone on and told other people about. Um, so for example there was one gentleman who came in and um, I was just talking to him and he said that the exhibition had actually inspired him to take up a watercolour set that he'd been given by his wife and um, he'd been putting off starting it for ages but having seen some of the pieces and the creativity in Wiltshire he was thinking yeah I can do that too so um, that was really great to see. If you ask most people in Swindon who their favourite Swindon artist was they'd probably say Ken White who's an artist who was born in Swindon, spent a lot of his life in Swindon, used to work for the Great Western Railway Works but wasn't in our collection so this was a project that actually gave us the means by which to rectify that. We were able to acquire Ken's work for our collection and having built that relationship with the artist, we're now at a point where we've got this incredibly popular Ken White exhibition, which you can see around me. So the project enabled us to do more and to be more ambitious than we would have, wouldn't have been otherwise. And it's really strengthened the relationship that we've now got with a lot of artists. So Chippenham is changing and we've seen it ourselves. So we almost need to change and update and keep up to date with it. And this is one of the ways through this project we've actually been able to um, become more relevant to what it is the expectations are of users of museums and that I think the expectations of what the people will see what their engagement with objects is are now much higher than they ever were before and so actually in a way this project has allowed us to sort of fill in some of those gaps and bring our story up to date more and bring a wider variety to, um, to the public as well. Yeah, so there was a really wide range of um, artworks that we were able to use in this exhibition and I think that it really shows that Wiltshire is a really creative um, county and that there's more creativity going on behind the scenes than most people actually realise. So it's really good working with the History Centre because it was a two-pronged approach to collecting, whereas we might be collecting the original artwork, be it painting or drawing, the History Centre to then be collecting the archival material, you're then representing the artist as both uh, an individual, a creative talent, but then the History Centre has got that archival material that will support research for generations into the future. So it's a really satisfying, coordinated approach. The project sort of opened up lots of other doors for us and um, and it's almost just sort of now we can where do, where do we go next and that's always a sort of scary but um, quite exciting uh, at times because we can sort of uh, from sort of almost from having no art collection at all to now having this core capsule that we can sort of base um, projects around, base exhibitions around and base ways we can share the knowledge about these collections and how we can work with all these different partners that sort of all come out of um, this one creative workshop project. <laughs>